Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Rule number one. If a symbol is repeated, its value is added as many times as it occurs. For example, how do we write one? So one is written by a capital I like this. Now, if we repeat this symbol twice, that means this actually means 1 plus 1. So, this is how we write 2. If we repeat this symbol for 3 times, then this becomes 3 because it is 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, if, a, if the same symbol is repeated multiple times, so that symbol gets added that many times. For example, how do we write 10? We write it as capital X. Now, if I write xx what would it mean this x is 10 this x is also 10 so 10 plus 10 that is 20 so this is how we write 20 similarly if we write xxx that would mean 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 30 right so this is how this is what it means that if you want to write such numbers which is like sum of other numbers so you can just Repeat that particular symbol as many times as you want. So do you think that you can repeat this symbol as many times as you want? Let's say how would you write a 4? So do you think that you can write a 4 like this? That is you can repeat this symbol for 4 times? You can't. Do you know why? That's because the rule number 2 says that a symbol is repeated is not repeated for more than three times. So three times is the maximum number of times you can repeat any symbol. So you cannot write four like this. You cannot write 40 like this. You cannot do it because they do not follow rule number two. So any symbol can be repeated only up to three times. Now, is it that all symbols can be repeated no. So there also we have certain limitation. For example, do you think that if you want to write 10, so can you write 10 as VV? So because this is 5, this is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. We cannot write this because these symbols V, L and D, they can never be repeated. So you can never have something like this or something like this. You can never have these kind of symbols. Right? So these are the first three basic rules about repetition of the symbol because by repetition of symbol we can write the Roman numbers for a lot of numbers. Let's look at the next rule which says that a symbol of smaller value written to the right of a symbol of greater value, its value gets added to the value of the greater symbol. Now let us try to understand it very carefully. Now, let us say you have a symbol of a greater value. For example, this. What is this symbol for? This, sim this is a symbol of, this represents a number of greater value. That is, let's say this represents number 5. Now, if we write a symbol of smaller value to the right of the symbol of greater value. So, this is the symbol of greater value. Let's say we write a symbol of smaller value. So, this is a symbol of smaller value. What is its value? This represents 1. So, if you write a smaller value symbol to the right of the greater value symbol, then what happens? The value gets added. So, this represents 5. This represents 1. So, their value gets added. So, basically, this symbol represents 6. Now, similarly, let us try it for other examples. Now, let's say if I write this symbol, if I write 1, if I write another 1. So, what am I doing? Basically, symbol of smaller value. This is 2, right? So, 2 is written after 5. So, this will get added up. So, it will be 5 plus 2, that is 7. Similarly, if we write it like this. So, again, this is 3 and this is 5. So, if you write a symbol of smaller value on the right of a symbol of greater value, they get added. So, it becomes 8. So, this is how you represent 8. So, you see, we have gradually started. We gradually learned how you can write 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 
Let's look at the next rule. It says that a symbol of smaller value written to the left of a symbol of greater value, its value is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol. Now let us suppose that instead of being written like this, if the symbol of greater value is like this and the symbol of smaller value is written on the left side like this, then what would happen? Now this represents 5 and this represents 1. So in this case, the value gets subtracted. That means this becomes 5 minus 1, that is 4. So this is how we represent 4 in no Roman numerals. Now in a similar way, we can write it for other numbers. For example, if how would you write 14? So that, that, that's one good example. So what is 14? 14 is nothing but 10 plus 4. So let us look at some examples based upon these two rules. So 14 would be 10 plus 4, right? So how do we write 10? 10 is written like this. Now you want to add 4. So that means you'll have to write 4 on the right hand side of 10. So this is how we write 4. So this becomes 14. Similarly, Let us say you want to write in Roman numeral 40. So what is 40? 40 is 50 minus 10. Right? We already know how do we represent 50. 50 is represented by a capital L. So you, we want to subtract 10 from 50. So subtraction therefore we have to write it on the left hand side. 10 is X. So XL is how we represent 40. So this is how we can represent any number in its Roman numeral. Let us look at the next rule. Symbols V, L and D are never written to the left of a symbol of greater value. So that means these two are again, these three are again exceptions where they cannot be written to the left of any symbol of greater value. For example, let us say that uh, you want to represent the number 35, right? So 35, you can write it in two ways. You can either write it as 40 minus 5 or you can write it as 30 plus 5. Now, how do we know which one to choose? So because if you write it as 40 minus 5, then how the symbol would be? What is 40? So just now we wrote that this is 40, right? And what is 30? So this is how we write 30. So if we write it in this form, in that case, we have to write 5 on the left hand side of this. So that means basically you will have to write V here. So that is how it will be 40 minus 5. And in this case, if you want to write 30 plus 5, so you will have to write 5 on the right hand side of this. Now, this is a confusion. You might ask, so which is correct? This is correct for 35 or this is correct? So that is why this rule is into scene. So it says that symbols like V can never be written on left side of a symbol. So that means it cannot be written on the left of X. So this is not correct and this is the correct way of representing 35. So these are also certain rules that need to be remembered. Now let us yet again look at another example. So let us suppose you want to write down 450 in Roman numbers. Now 450 again can be written in two ways. One is 500 minus 50 or 400 plus 50. So if you write it as 500 minus 50, how do we represent 500? 500 is represented as D. And how do we represent 50? 50 is represented as L. So you will have to write L before D, which is not allowed. So that's why we will represent it as 400 plus 50. So how do we write 400? So 400 is basically 500 minus 100, right? So 500 is D minus 100 is C. So basically 400 can be written as CD and what is 50? 50 is L. So L will be written on the right hand side. So this is the correct Roman number for 450. The next rule says that symbol i can be subtracted from v and x only. So this is also important that you cannot subtract i from any other symbol. For example, how do we write 9? So when we have to write 9, we say it is 10 minus 1. So we write it like this. 
Now let us suppose you have to write 19. Now 19 can be 20 minus 1 or it can also be 10 plus 9. So if you write it as 20 minus 1 then it would be like something like this because this is 20 minus 1 or if you want to write it as 10 plus 9 then it would be something like this. This is 10 and on the right hand side you have 9. Now which one is correct? Now as per this rule i can be subtracted from v and x only. So i can be subtracted from x so this is true but i cannot be subtracted from x x because here it is 2 times x so it cannot be subtracted from this. Therefore this is the right way of writing 19. Similarly let us try it for number 4. So how do you write 4? 4 is 5 minus 1 so it is written like this. Now, can you tell me how would you write 34? So, 34 again can be written as 30 plus 4 or it can be written as 40 minus 6. So, if you write it as 30 plus 4, so 30 is triple x and 4 is like this. And if you write it as 40 minus 6, 40 is xl and the minus 6 that means you have to write 6 on this side. But again this doesn't follow this rule because i is subtracted from xl whereas i can be subtracted only from x or only from v. So x or v should not be repeated, x or v should not have anything else. So that means this is incorrect and this is the right way of writing 34. Let us now look at the last rule which says symbol x can be subtracted from L, M and C only. So for x also we have certain limitations. So let us look at this example. How do you write 40? So we write 40 as x, L that is 50 minus 10. Now just think how would you write 54? Now that's what we have discussed that 54 can be written as 50 plus 4. It can also be written as 60 minus 6. But then again if you write it as 60 minus 6 you will see that this x is present before multiple L, M or C's. So that is why 50 plus 4 is written as something like this and this is the right way of writing 54. And that is why you can never have any Roman number which is something like this or this or this or this or this because in each of these you see x is present before li or lib or mi ci cd and so on so these are all not possible because a, x can occur only before l m and c so only l should be there only then it can occur Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.